let, let me begin by saying this. I, I think we are a financial institution. So the most important thing for us is to maintain uh, our customer relationship, ensure that what we do and what we deliver are able to address our customer needs. Um, so that is the four, four most important things that we need to maintain. We, we do consider fintech company are the, are the party that who are able to excel in providing technology alternatives to us. Uh, they are because they are innovative. They are very close to the latest development of technologies. Quite often, they will come up with very good technology ideas. Uh, but we need to work closely together because what we can offer and the balance is that we can work with them to select the right technologies that can apply to our existing customer base. Because sometimes if we run too fast, we might have to slow down a little bit so that you know, the audience can catch the, the right moment, right? So, so that is one balance. The other balance is um, we also can only do this without certain boundary. And the boundaries that we are talking about are the existing regulatory requirements, which will be set by our regulator here in Hong Kong. Now, uh, one should understand that uh, that is a very important task uh, our regulators is doing uh, because they will need to look after not just the short-term uh, benefits to the market, but also medium and long term. So, um, so uh, in order for us to comply with the regulatory requirement, it is very important for, for us to communicate with our regulators if there are certain needs for us to, let's say, uh, relax certain part of the regulations. Um, let me share with you one of the very good um, examples that we've seen uh, uh, you know, in the recent uh, days. Uh, I think in uh, September, uh, our regulator have uh, announced this FinTech Sandbox Initiative, whereby uh, they allow financial institutions to conduct certain pilot program by, by making use of new technologies. Uh, I see that is a very positive step in the market because through that, uh, the banks is able to work with our FinTech partner choose and formulate our, um, you know, our solutions quickly and put through a pilot program whereby we can validate and collect our customer opinion so that we can fine tune our final products before it is massively rolled out. Number one is that uh, cyber security uh, protection. Uh, I think in uh, 216, uh, uh, HKMA have published the cybersecurity fortification initiatives. That is just a framework, uh, and the consultation will be completed by the end of this year. And the final, final framework will be published um, in uh, November this year. So I would think that in 2017, one of the very major uh, initiative or efforts that the banks in Hong Kong will be very focused on is to implement that framework, get that implement, um, you know, identify all the gaps and making sure that we are, we have strengthened, we will strengthen our cyber security protection. So that's trend number one. Number two is that this uh, fintech development is going to be uh, sort of keep on developing in 2017, but more in a going towards a more mature model. Because if you look at what has been happening now in the market, there are a lot of like accelerator program, a lot of different forum or industry talks organized by different uh, organizations. I do see that uh, that is good because it create, uh, or I would say started the engine for Hong Kong. But I think that would become more mature in 2017 and for those that are really can commercialize the result of it, probably will stay in 2017 uh, and will carry through into 2018. And hopefully for the, for the financial institutions or parties that have identified the right FinTech initiative for 2016, we will see some fruits uh, in 2017 as well. Last but not the least, I think um, th this whole thing about financial crime risk would also be something that the bank would focus on because, uh, because of the um, you know, anti-money laundering, uh, sanctions re review. Uh, although though that theme has been going on in the last two, three, four years, uh, but in order for the bank to remain vigilant, 
uh, and also in order for the bank to stay within the regulatory boundary to set by different regulators around the world, I think that is also be a very major initiative for the bank in Hong Kong as well, uh, given that Hong Kong is an international financial centre. Thank you.